Good afternoon. Today I'd like to talk about the authority of Scripture, which is the fourth of the ten core beliefs of Presbyterians. The authority of Scripture is also a hallmark of the Protestant Reformation from the 1500s. Now, by taking Scripture as an authority, we Christians are a bit out of step with the rest of the world. In the human quest for knowledge and understanding, we have four main sources of truth or knowledge we can turn to. The first is tradition. We can accept what has been passed down to us from past generations as the truth. Secondly, we have reason or logic. Whatever we can think through, whatever logically makes sense to us, is true. And third, we have experience, what we see or hear or touch. This is the basis of the scientific process, because science is all about observing what we experience or what our instruments can show us. And through these experiments, we come to understand what truth is. Now, we Christians have a fourth source of knowledge, and that is revelation. We know that things are true because God has revealed them to us, and he is trustworthy above everything else. Now, God has revealed himself to us most completely through Jesus Christ. After all, Jesus is who our faith is all about. The Holy Spirit bears witness to God's self-revelation through Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit does so in many different ways, but especially through Scripture or through the Bible. Now, the focus of the Bible is Jesus Christ. Remember, He is the ultimate revelation. He is the highest authority. The Bible was created through the work of the Holy Spirit, and we are able to understand the Bible as the Holy Spirit is at work in us. So we don't worship the Bible. We use the Bible to understand the one whom we do worship. The Bible is the word of God. But it comes to us through human words. After all, the Bible was written by human authors as they were inspired and guided by the Holy Spirit. It is necessary for God's word to come to us through human words because otherwise we would be overwhelmed or it would be simply incomprehensible. And anytime people get involved, you're bound to have problems. And so we have to understand or we have to interpret what God is saying to us through the Bible. What the Bible says isn't the same as what I understand when I read the Bible. Here's another way to put it. The Bible is our authority, not my interpretation of the Bible, not someone else's interpretation of the Bible. And this is important. This is, in my opinion, so important that this is why I devoted my PhD to study ways in which we interpret the Bible in order to find out how we can discern truth in it. Now, our Presbyterian tradition has outlined seven basic principles for biblical interpretation. First, as I've already said, Jesus Christ is at the center of Scripture. Second, we focus on the plain text in front of us, not on fanciful interpretations. Third, as I've mentioned already, we rely on the Holy Spirit to help us interpret and apply what the Bible teaches. Fourth, we're guided by the consensus of the church. We don't just go off in left field by ourselves. And fifth, our understanding of the Bible should follow what is known as the rule of love. Our understanding from the Bible should elevate our love for God or our love for neighbor. Sixth, we have to study the Bible earnestly, not just half-heartedly and casually. And seventh, we use the entire Bible to help interpret any particular passage that we're reading. But the Bible does more than convey information to us. The Bible shapes us. The Bible changes us. As Hebrews chapter 4 puts it, the Word of God is living and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the 
thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The Bible is not like any other book you're going to run into. Every other book just simply touches the outside of us. The Bible goes into our surface, into our beyond the surface, and touches us deep inside. The Bible is the means by which God moves in and around and through us. God moves in every nook and cranny of our life. As we encounter the Word of God in Scripture, it challenges us. It changes us. You see, there's a couple ways we can look at the Bible. First of all, we can consider the Bible to simply be a bunch of cold, dead words on a page, stale and motionless. In this sense, reading the Bible would be like going to a museum and thinking about what God had said long ago. But instead, we recognize the Bible as God's living, active word that cuts to the very core of our being. Reading scripture is our opportunity to encounter God in a deeply personal way. We're not just gathering ancient nuggets of truth that we might still have use for. We read scripture so that God can speak clearly and directly to us through it. Would you pray with me, please? Lord God, we are grateful for the gift of the Bible. We're grateful for these human words, which are so much more than human words. They are your word coming to each of us. So help us, Lord, to find the joy of discovering your message to us personally in Scripture. By the power of your Holy Spirit, bring the words of the Bible to life so that we know what you are doing in our lives today. Amen. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk again later.